For more than 70 years, this topic still remains on the table. They try to make it go away, but it always comes back. If you watched my previous video, you'll see how the conclusions of all the programs and panels were forced towards there's nothing to see here, even though the main scientists involved disagreed. Instead of burying the UAP topic in the ground, it seems like that backfired on the gatekeepers. Now we have officials and congress people seriously pushing for the truth and creating legislations never seen before. But the stigma is still strong, the ridicule of the topic and casting out the witnesses have done the job. When NASA stated that they are going to investigate and study the UAP topic, the involved scientist made a statement saying it's probably not aliens, which is not what scientists should tell before they even start the research. Similar thing was said by Dr. Condon and the infamous Condon report, but here we are 50 years later with even more evidence. What is observed by the pilots and cut on the sensor systems clearly shows that we might not be alone, and these Ukrainian researchers have some heavy proof that we need to take it seriously. Let's see their scientific paper. The main astronomical observatory NAS of Ukraine conducts an independent study of unidentified phenomena in the atmosphere. Our astronomical work is daytime observations of meteors and space invasions. The main feature of the UAP is its extremely high speed. The eye cannot capture phenomena lasting less than one tenth of a second. It takes four tenths of a second to recognize an event. Ordinary photo and video recordings will also not capture the UAP. To detect UAP, we need to fine tune the equipment, shutter speed, frame rate, and dynamic range. According to their data, there are two types of UAP cosmics and phantoms. Cosmics are luminous objects brighter than the background of the sky, and phantoms are dark objects. For the observations, they used two meteor stations installed in Kiev and in the Vinarivka village in the south of the Kiev region. The distance between the stations is 75 miles. The stations are equipped with ASI 174mm and ASI 294 Pro cameras and lenses with focal length of 50 and 28 mm. The ASI-174 camera has field of view of 4.08 degrees, pixel size of 24.2 arc second, actual frame rate of 46.9 frames per second. The ASI-294 Pro camera has field of view of 9.7 degrees, pixel size of 34.1 arc second and frame rate of 50 frames per second. From simple trigonometry, it's easy to determine that objects at a distance of more than 619 miles will fall into the field of view of the cameras. Now let's see examples of what they've captured. Here we can see an UAP that they described with the name Phantom. The object has zero albedo, which means it's a completely black body that does not emit and absorbs all the radiation falling on it. We see an object only because it shields radiation in the atmosphere. By applying their algorithm shown in the study, they estimated the object distance at 3.1 miles and the speed not less than 4.3 miles per second. They've captured another phantom object flying at a distance of 2.1 miles. Estimated size of the UAP is 3 meters, traveling with speed of 8.6 miles per second. That makes the speed to be 30,000 miles per hour. Those numbers given with the impossible acceleration would disintegrate any object or material known by man. But yet here they are, seen by many people, military personnel, pilots and captured on multiple high-end sensors. It's clear that these UAPs are very hard to detect and in my own opinion they are only seen when they want to be seen or as the rumors go when they are baited. There are many speculations that the military is baiting UAPs on purpose and it has something to do with nuclear weapons. Obviously the study was discredited by the skeptics who barely glanced through the paper and declared that the objects are probably insects or birds. But what they obviously didn't see is that the study itself is showing how birds and insects look on their systems. And what's more strange is that they didn't see this sighting captured in synchronicity from the two sides. 
it's necessary to synchronize two cameras with an accuracy of 1 millisecond, should at a rate of at least 50 frames per second is needed. In a field of view of 5 degrees, at a base of 74.5 miles, objects above 621 miles can be detected. So this clearly rules out birds and insects because they can fly in space. An object against the background of the moon was detected at zenith angle of 56 degrees. Parallax about 5 degrees was evaluated. This allows us to evaluate distance equal to 947 miles, altitude of 729.4 miles and linear speed of 175 miles per second. That's an astonishing speed of 630,000 miles per hour. Nevertheless, this study was attacked by the skeptics and a few scientists all over the world, so the Ukrainian researchers published additional papers with more info and sightings adding more credibility to their theory. Let's see what they've captured this time. This is an image with a bright object called Cosmic taken synchronously by two cameras on this date. With time precision of 1 millisecond. A parallax of 2.66 degrees gives a distance to the object of 1615 miles. The estimated altitude of the object is 792 miles. Vinarivka Observatory with 6 shots gives an angular velocity of 1.73 degrees and a linear velocity of 78 km per second. Again they managed to capture one object on two cameras separated by more than 74 miles, something that every UFO hunter dreams of. The objects cannot be birds or insects because that's impossible to be captured on two cameras at the same time and they need to be at a distance of at least 600 miles. Their algorithm also proves that it's the same object with the same color map and intensity variations. This image shows a second object taken synchronously by two cameras on this date. With time precision of 1 millisecond. A parallax of 4.9 degrees gives a distance to the object of 870 miles. The estimated altitude of the objects is 385 miles. Vinarivka with 10 shots gives an angular velocity of 10.27 degrees and a linear velocity of 159 miles per second. Figures 6 and 7 show light curves of objects. Variability is about 10 Hz. They've also include an object who rapidly changes the trajectory as a direct dispute to Dr. Avi Loeb's response that they've probably captured military shells. An object appears suddenly at a distance of 6.8 miles and an altitude of about 1.2 miles. Approach at a distance of 2.5 miles, the object turn around and left. The evolution of the shape of the object in the process of movement is clearly visible. I've heard Lou Elizondo, the pilot Ryan Graves and some other pilots state that our current sensors are not made for capturing these UAPs. They are perfect for capturing man-made objects or celestial bodies. Given what these researchers suggest, we should make better systems for capturing these objects so we can study them better. I will leave the three papers in the description. Everyone needs to read them and see all the examples they've managed to capture, their algorithm and how they even managed to deblur the UAPs and remove the motion blur to make out the shape of the objects. Also you need to check Chris Leto's video on this topic, the link will be in the description. If you want to help me, consider supporting me on Patreon, because you are the only way for this channel to be sustainable. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Also you can leave me a one-time donation on Buy Me A Coffee. Links are in the description. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.